we wanted to show that metal is a very versatile material. So we have a lot of different techniques transforming this material, creating completely different shapes and forms. It goes back a couple of years where we initiated the first discussions with the director of the Konstal, who uh, approached me to discuss ideas to do something with design for the cultural year in 2022. So he got this building here, which was initially a furniture showroom. And we are in Ash, which is one of the capitals of, of the steel industry. So the obvious thought was to combine this. So we developed this, this idea into something a bit more uh, sophisticated and to uh, combine the know-how of metal transformation with the changes in design that are happening at the moment. It being an, a, a showroom initially for, for design, we also thought it needs to be something that goes from art maybe into more a functional side. So most objects that we show have some sort of uh, functionality. They are either uh, furniture pieces or have illusions of functionality linked to furniture. By doing the collection and researching all the works in the design world, we found that there are so many different categories of technical transformation. So we tried to regroup all the categories and we came up with about 16 groups that are very varied from craft to high tech, from very basic castings to hammering up to digital advanced technologies like sintering, etc. Beyond the technical side, which was very important as a basis, the idea was to try to uh, create also a playground for experimenting and to go beyond what's normally done in those techniques and challenge them and question them. And the initial thought that I had in this context was to give this exhibition also an educational value, to give an idea to a younger public maybe or people that are more technically inclined to have really an overview of what's creatively uh, uh, on the cards with metal. The most important aspect of, of the selection that we've done is the intrinsic value of the objects. We have a, a deep link between the manufacturing process and the shape we have at the end. Um, so the, the objects are illustrating the technology and the way they are made, which was very important and it, it really links the two, the creativity and the technical aspects. And in my view, you can't separate the two. The boundaries between art and design are getting more and more blurred uh, in the last years, and I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's interesting to see. We focused here on objects that are more one-offs, prototypes and experiments, so we are getting into the area of, of art. The notion of design is, is perceived very differently from, from many people, so I wanted to show a cultural language in those objects that I find are of the moment and are interesting to discover.